Hey everyone, so today we're going to find the equation of the tangent plane to this function at the point 3, 4, 1. Okay, solution. So what I like to do in these problems um, is I always start by calling the z. I'm going to write kind of small, so z. Okay, and then I subtract z from both sides. Here's why, you'll see. x squared is 2xy, so we have that, we have that, and plus y squared. And then we're subtracting z from both sides of this equation, so it's going to become a minus z. So minus z, and that's equal to zero. Okay, so now we have a level surface, right? We have a function equal to a constant. So this here, I'm going to call this big F of x, y, z. Okay, so that's the function big F, and it's equal to zero. So we have a level surface, right? Um, so now you know that the gradient vector is always uh, normal to the level surface, right? So the gradient vector is going to serve the purpose of our normal vector for the equation of the plane. So if you remember the equation of the plane with normal vector a, b, c, it was a, I'm going to erase this, and then it was x minus x naught plus b, y minus y naught plus c, z minus z naught equals 0. So that was the equation of the plane uh, with normal vector a, b, c. But now we know that the gradient vector is normal to the level surface, um, so we can use the gradient vector. Uh, in terms instead of the vector a, b, c. So the first component, a here, is going to be the first component of the gradient vector. So the partial with respect to x at x naught, y naught, oh, I can't write any smaller, z naught, right? That's a. Then here, okay, then here instead of b, it's going to be the partial with respect to y at x naught, y naught, z naught. This is where the formula comes from. This is the idea. And then plus, the last one would be the partial with respect to z, at x naught, y naught, z naught, times z minus z naught. So it's an equation you're already familiar with if you know the equation of the plane, right? For the equation of the plane, you have a normal vector with components a, b, c. Here we have a level surface, so the normal vector is the gradient vector. And remember, the gradient vector is the vector whose components are the first partial derivatives. Okay, so now all we have to do is compute the partial derivatives and plug in all the numbers, and we're done. So let's see. So the first partial with respect to x. So when we take the partial with respect to x, we fix y and z. Uh, we treat them as constants. So their derivatives are 0. So the derivative of x squared is 2x. Here, we're taking the partial with respect to x. So the 2 and the y are constants, right? So the derivative of x is 1, so we just get negative 2y. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the point here. So fx at uh, 3, 4, 1. Okay, so x is 3, so we're going to get 2 times 3, so we get 6. And then minus 2 times y. y is 4, so we get minus 8. So it's equal to negative 2. Okay? Let's do the same thing now with the partial with respect to y. When we take this partial, we treat x and z as constants, uh, so their, their derivatives are 0. So the partial with respect to y, this is 0. All right, derivative with respect to y. So the derivative of y is 1, so we just get negative 2x, because that's a number, 2y. And this derivative is 0. Plugging in the numbers, so 3, 4, 1. We get negative 2 times 3, right, because x is 3, so negative 6, plus, and then 2 times 4, so 8. So we get 2. Okay, one more. The partial with respect to z. This one's super easy, right, because 0, 0, 0. There's no z's anywhere, right? So all of these guys are constants. The derivative of z is negative 1. And again, plugging in the number just as a formality, so 3, 4, 1, we simply get negative 1. So now we're finally ready uh, to use the formula. So now we're just going to plug everything in. So I'm going to erase the original question up here, equation of the tangent plane, right? and let's plug everything in. So this guy here, that's this here, that's negative 2. We worked it out, right? We worked that out, so negative 2, boom. And then x minus, and x naught is the 3, right? That's the 3, so 3, good stuff. Plus, and then we have this guy here, f, f sub y at this point. We work that out. So this guy here is 2. Right? We work it out. So plus 2. Okay, and then it's uh, y minus y naught. So y naught is 4. And it's x naught, y naught, z naught. So y minus 4. Plus, and then this guy here is negative 1, right? That, that's this one. So it's negative 1 times z minus z naught. So negative 1 times, and then z minus 1. So z. Minus 1, that's equal to 0. Right? That's equal to 0. So if we clean this up, let's, let's clean it up. We get negative 2x, negative 2x, plus 6, plus 2y, minus 8, minus 8. 
And this is going to be a minus z plus 1. Right, minus z plus 1. So just distributing everything and, and hopefully not messing up. Uh, and then let's combine line terms. So first we have the negative 2x. Then we have the 2y. Then we have the negative z. And we have some numbers. It looks like negative 2 plus 1 uh, is negative 1. It's equal to 0. And you can just leave it like that, or if you prefer, you can add the 1 to the other side, right? So let me just check that. 6 minus 8 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So to finish, we have negative 2x plus 2y minus z. And that's equal to 1. So that's the equation of the tangent plane uh, to our original function at the given point uh, 3, 4, 1. I hope that made sense.